Call the December 19th meeting of the Kingston Springs Board of Commissioners to order. Could everyone please rise and face the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, John, could you please call the roll? Josh Netherman? Here. Tony Gross? Here. Mike Harkins? Here. Jeff Lorenz? Here. Glimmer? Here. All right, we have a quorum. Do we have a motion to approve the November 21st uh, City Commission meeting minutes? Motion to approve. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Passes. Uh, we have one item to add to the agenda for tonight, and that would be 11A under new business, and this is to add December 23rd as a holiday for the city employees. Except for Tom, he's probably going to have to work. So yes, I do. December 23rd, December 23rd. Okay. <laughs> All right, do we have a uh, motion to approve the December 19th city commission agenda? Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, passes. Announcements from commissioners. Jeff, do you have anything? No. What? Nope. Well, my only announcement is we're missing a pizza party across the street. Like I was planning on the elevator after it got out there. Yeah. All right. Not good. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right. It doesn't look like there's any community here to have input, but or concerns. So there we go. Right. There has been. Right. There can be pizza too. <laughs> All right, um, department reports. Anything you need to add, John? No, sir. All right, legal updates. If I could, Mayor, I need to cover a few things under attorney client privilege. If we could reserve that to just before the adjournment, that would be fine. No problem. All right, unfinished business is a motion to approve the Second South Cheatham Utility District refund for secondary meters in the amount of $18,469.19. As you will remember, this was on the agenda from last month, and it was noticed that there were two non-residential customers that were on the secondary meter list. So we uh, deferred last month to do a little more investigation. We found Resolution 89-002, which established the use of the secondary meters for filling of pools and watering the landscape and, and that kind of thing. Uh, it allows adjustments or credits for this usage since the water used is not uh, is not treated by our wastewater facility the resolution states that each each residential wastewater treatment facility user does not mention commercial users or any other types of users so two non-residential meters have been uh, have appeared on the secondary meter summary from second south Cheetah utility district this year and after further research it shows that these two non-residential meters have been credited on summaries we went back to 2015 um, and they probably go back farther. How they got on the list, we're not really exactly sure. So we have a couple of options, uh, I guess, to present. Um, a suggested option would be to approve the secondary meter credits for all on the current list with the exception of these two non-residential meters um, so that the others on the list can get their credits from mm -hmm. the water company. Uh, and then we can discuss how to handle non-residential customers uh, in the future whether uh, to continue to uh, leave as is on um, the current resolution or to update that resolution to include uh, customers other than residential is there a recommendation from the water folks on that there is not i have spoken with mr zimmerman the manager at the South Utility, Chief Utility District, and um, he does not have a uh, preference either way. If we, the board chooses to include other customers other than residential, we can work with Mr. Zimmerman, uh, however appropriate, to make sure that there are uh, guidelines as to who can and cannot uh, use secondary water meters. And that can be included in the resolution. Without speaking out of turn. All right, well, uh, what's the will of the board? Do we have any, any thoughts on this? 
I think the resolution is pretty clear, and the fact that we haven't done that up until this point is, is no excuse for continuing to do it, at Correct. least as it, as it stands. So I think that I mean, my personal opinion would be to approve this, excluding the two non-residential uh, meters. And you could table those two for another meeting if you wanted, if you if y'all are of the opinion you want to come back and adjust the policy later. Yeah, and I was just curious, do we know other districts or how they handle that? And have we I do not. That that probably maybe no. not. I just I just think there if you have a business, you open yourself up to a lot of I, I don't know, a lot of usage that could happen. So it'd be curious a bigger district, what do they do? Mm -hmm. We can investigate. Just take a list. I mean, they're pretty. I mean, Midtown is pretty Midtown's small. Nothing. Yeah. But how did the How did the elementary school even? Didn't they put in those fields and started watering them? The watering the yeah. watering That's our field field when they put in the soccer fields. Yeah. yeah. So, what, but why would the elementary school get that kind of credit, and we're not giving it to the high school or middle school? We believe that the element because uh, you can apply for to, for the secondary meter. Um, they probably don't have the district, and, and if, if you don't apply for it, you don't you don't get it. Of course, I do believe. This is just a guess that the elementary school did apply and receive the secondary meter when they installed the soccer fields behind the elementary school several years ago to establish the lawn uh, with a good bit of watering back there, and probably continue to um, keep upkeep the field back there. And my guess is, like Harpeth, the football field is probably on the same meter as it's so old they can't they'd have to redo it. Well, they have to install a secondary meter, you know? Right. And they just, uh, whatever. So. Well, I, I'd be in favor of going ahead and we definitely need to get that. proving it but without these two and getting that done. Uh, yeah, I've had some, some folks already asking me where their meter is. <laughs> I have a few phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so so. I'm, I'm cool with that. I guess the other question is maybe we need to do a little research before we decide on, you know, yield that can of worms. This, yeah, I mean, you, you know, and, and do we want to treat the elementary school differently than a business? Uh, you know, that would be another another thing because the elementary school is county government. So, well, this actually the, the soccer field back there is, is volunteers. It's paid for by volunteers. Um, it's all volunteers, but not yeah. water. I mean, water is you know, it's just a volunteer organization. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, the water is paid for by the school board. I think, right? Yeah, by the school. It, obviously not. Well, this is a credit towards that. Correct. Two Kings and Springs Elementary. Oh, you're thinking that other that other meter may be paid for by. Well, I mean, this is this is the meter going to the watering. Yeah. The so office. who's getting that credit anyway? Yeah. Where does it? it who, work? who gets the check? Well, whoever paid it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it says Kings and Springs Elementary School. It doesn't say Booster uh -huh. Club on here. And plus, too, we need to be. Uh, well, it does have a dot dot dot. Well, is, there, is there an extension? What What's the extended I'll, I'll readout on that line? I'll check with Bill. That's the only information I have right now. I personally like to support the athletic. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, yeah. that's why I was you saying maybe we want to make a, a distinction in whatever we do between something that say is county uh, government or elementary school versus a, a business. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and I, they may be counting on this too. I don't, they, wanna, and, and, I don't and, want to hold they, this and, up. And, too and long. They, they, they may. So that's what that's something we want to think about. But can you find out for us, John, what the what what you know comes after the dot 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 there? And, yes, sir. And so on. So and uh, we'll bring that back up maybe um, next time. Do we have a motion? And, and so we can table those two items, I guess, and then we can come back to that at a later date once we have more information. Sure. Yes. On, on what that is, or, and maybe come up with some language to distinguish maybe residents, businesses, and whatever that is. Community. So. All right. So, do we have a motion to approve the uh, secondary meter um, readings uh, or, or reimbursements, uh, excluding the two non residential lines? Motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Do we do we need to have a motion to come back and look at these things later, or? Um. I'll just take the motion to table the other two until a later date. Okay. Do we have a motion to table the uh, Kingston Springs Elementary School something in Midtown Inns and Suites to another date? Motion. Second. 
Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Okay, so that gets us through that. Our only item of new business is to uh, give city employees, except for Tom, uh, Monday. Uh, <laughs> oh, just a Monday. <laughs> Motion to give uh, Monday, city employees. Monday 23rd. on Tom. Well, uh, Motion to give. Tom is a dedicated public safety officer. Exactly. So. That's right. He's got to keep us safe. Right. Motion to give city employees is December 23rd really quick, holiday except for Tom. Really quick, is this just for this year or are we doing this for... No, this is just this... Uh, because, because of the way the holiday... Because it's a Monday. Holiday okay. So. Motion? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All Thank right. You, okay, the next item is to uh, surplus these two hot items, a Casio adding machine and a Canon MX870 printer. Both well, I motion to discard these. Uh, Both will be going to the technology museum. When you say adding machine, <laughs> I think of like. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie still burns an adding machine up. I'll yeah. tell you what, I've seen her go on that thing. So. Got the tin key. <laughs> All right, do we have a motion to uh, surplus these two items? Motion surplus. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Uh, All right. Um, the other item is set a potential date for the 2028 Kingston Springs Commission Retreat. I do have some additional information. I've been corresponding back and forth with Montgomery Bell, and Montgomery Bell will be remodeling or has initially started remodeling their inn uh, and will be in that remodeling phase until sometime in April. They might have some guest rooms open periodically, but their public spaces, including the restaurant, will be closed through April, okay. or at least to the middle of April. So. Um, we've toyed with this in the past, and staff su uh, is suggesting that the retreat be held at the activity center in the conference room in the back corner of the activity center that's connected to the kitchen. We would bring in couches and chairs and tables and rugs and make it homey. Um, the kitchen would be right there. We would cater from uh, local restaurants, Carl's Perfect Pig and Scott King and that kind of thing. Um, one of the benefits of doing that would open uh, our schedule to whatever dates work well for anybody instead of relying on uh, another establishment for their open dates. Great. What is anyone's thoughts on doing January, the weekend of January 18th, and then we could just make the fire banquet? That evening? That Saturday? Dinner that evening. Well, He's, he won't be here. I'll be here. Yeah. Yeah. Be on till the 22nd. For me, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. No, that does actually mean we shouldn't do it. We can have this the 25th. There's no outs on uh, there's no outs on that. I'm pretty. Dead yeah, I mean, I could. We've done January or February. Or March February. Is not yeah, March. Right. It, by the end of February, sometime between now and then rather than uh, yeah. pushing it out yeah. March. Okay. February would be better for me. Yeah. You know? Me too. You know? Why don't we look into the first week Sorry. of February, maybe? That'd be February 1st. That is February 1st? Mm -hmm. he, Mike's gone on the 2nd, right? Is that... Oh, uh, no, I've gone on the 2nd of January. Oh. Yeah, we're doing... I'll be back. Friday night, I Saturday. In the morning, morning. generally it's Friday night, Saturday, yeah. Come back here. Uh, this week I'm in... Uh, I think my grandson. So the first week of February will work. It's at yeah. I don't know where that'll get out. February we're both up. February, if, if, if I may miss dinner, but if the meetings aren't starting to what, what, what day are you talking? Um, February 1st. Uh, February 1st is fine. So January 31st, he has a meeting. Okay. Well, we need that Friday, so why don't we, we could go the next weekend, the 7th and the 8th. Is there a problem with that? I'm good. Not that I know. I'm good with that. All right, let's do that then. Um, Shoot for that unless something I'll, changes. I'll double check. I mean, if, was, if, if something crazy happens, we've got another month. Since we don't have to schedule can you, rooms, can we you can just can send us a reminder email oh, to yeah. check that. Mm -hmm. Tentative, so February 7th. Okay, I'll send that an email. Okay. Um, Um, 
Yeah. We have uh, we have a couple reminders, which is City Hall will be closed now December 23rd, 24th, and 25th for Christmas Separate holidays. Tom. Separate Tom. Except for Tom. If you need anything, contact Tom. <laughs> Call me. Call him. <laughs> we'll be forwarding the City Hall phone number correctly. <laughs> 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 And then January 1st for uh, New Year's Day. Um, and then also uh, your statements of interest are due on by January 31st. And if you're on the Planning Commission, you need to fill it out twice. Done. Now we need to... Uh, motion to go into a attorney client. Motion, motion to go session. to a, a attorney client session. Second. Second. 